So today we're gonna cover the basics of Chris Plus using mostly what's in the modeling tab. So if you select nothing and you hit the installation hotkey, uh, you're gonna have the Chris Plus UI uh, popping up right here. So uh, we're gonna go through each comment. So first uh, box box comment so box comment is a common uh, for boolean operation that performs a boolean with box display with bounding box display so per se if, if uh, I'm doing that with a silencer it's gonna display the, um, the bounding box of that silencer in the operation and I can from the UI uh, cycle through union, intersection and difference right away. And I can also hit the installation dot key to, to cycle through and from there uh, change it. When I'm done I hit W so I have my move tool. So yeah, uh, it's easy as that. Um, then we get full uh, full um, boolean operation allows you to basically have the shape of the, the polygon so you can modify it in real time uh, on the component level so we're gonna do a bevel so hitting that installation hotkey when selecting hedges uh, to get them beveled so go through offset parameter and uh, change uh, the parameter uh, with uh, the installation out key again uh, adjusting the values with my middle mouse button then I'll take all that then I can also translate it scale it uh, rotate it and etc. So now um, there is a kip boolean which uh, says what it does, uh, just kip. Uh, the object that is involved in the, the boolean operation so it basically keep that object so we can later use it and panel uh, to do some uh, good uh, intricate and interesting um, cuts into the mesh so basically what happened with that comment is that uh, the object that is involved in the, the operation uh, cuts uh, your selection so that that uh, selected selected lastly and then panel and then as you can see it just cut through throwing a bevel installation not key something here and there you go and now um Instance um, boolean. So instance bo boolean is just like a uh, full boolean, uh, except that y except the fact that you can't uh, manipulate the object in in object mode uh, on the on compon component level. And you uh, the, the basically the pro is that you can you you have the object displayed in real time 
because it's instanced. So yeah, instance boolean. What is that object, dude? Oh, there it is. So, instance, and it just pops here, and then you can modify it, basically. Uh, and so, component level, so, as you can see. And then you have uh, when you 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 are done with uh, the instance boolean, you can just convert it instance, so it becomes a normal object. So the connection the connection is broken, and you have no wet, wet uh, selection going on. And then uh, you have mirror. And the cool and a cool trick I want to show you with mirror is that you can have um, uh, the boolean operation still active, still effective, while you you have the uh, you have the object mirrored. So the thing with uh, mirror is that it, uh, the axis is based on uh, your camera on your viewport camera. So uh, placing uh, it in front of Z, I have. Uh, X axis on my right hand uh, on my left hand so hitting mirror and oh you can see the difference right now so I'm gonna slightly do that so hitting mirror and there you go and you can change the, the side uh, of the symmetry of the of the mirror symmetry and you can also Adjust the parameters here, the axis, and so on. And now, if I just uh, let's say uh, do a box boolean, why not? And mirror it across. So I'm gonna tweak that value here. Tweak that value. So there you go. And if I uh, still translate it, you can see it respond and reflect on the other side as well. So that's that's a cool trick. That's cool. <laughs> and finally, uh, you have uh, the bevelers uh, before creasing and 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 ZBrush uh, export option. So. Uh, you have first edge bevel, which is uh, my favorite uh, beveler, just because it's quick, fast, and effective. You can then uh, propagate uh, parameters uh, with transfer last. And the cool thing about edge bevel is not uh, uh, the it's not in, it does not reside in the fact that it's uh, fast and efficient. It's the fact that you can use it in the face mode. And uh, which solid bevel uh, with, with solid bevel you can do that, and not nor shape shifter so. Uh, that's a really great option you can use, and most of the time uh, uh, it prevents here rather than creating them because you just don't um, uh, uh, apply uh, edge bevel on the whole object. You just apply it locally on the selected set of faces. So edge bevel, uh, cycling through the parameters, adjusting them with uh, my middle mouse button.
and you have uh, also the bevel distribution bevel type here in the channel box so you can change that to star and to round so as you can see much better so as you can see um, uh, now that we've done uh, 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 some some beveling operation you can see that the shading is all wet so what you're gonna want to do um, uh, most of the time and you're gonna do that uh, so often is to go to edit tab and just hit quick smoothing so now uh, no shading here here yeah. so let's go back here up there so also you can uh, hide the boolean objects uh, with that with the, this little eye icon and now you you get a um, solid bevel And the thing uh, basically solid bevel does is that solid bevel has protection borders just like a uh, shape shifter. So you have uh, support loops surrounding uh, the faces around uh, the hot edges. Support loops around the hot edges basically. So hitting shape shifter, uh, clicking again to cycle through the parameters, adjusting them with my middle mouse button. So it can go a little crazy sometimes, so just readjusting the offset value, uh, the support loop width, and then go here and have it nice like that. And the, and the cool thing about um, solid bevel is uh, the fact you can have bevel width to zero and have just uh, the support loops uh, to help you doing a subdivision model. So then you can smooth it and you can see the result and that's pretty decent to be honest. And then uh, finally you get ship shifter uh, uh, which is uh, a script from uh, the, the IMT from the, the Adnan modeler modeling tools. And uh, Chris Plus uh, just supports it, so you can hit it, you can hit it, and just hit it a second time, and then you can uh, cycle through the parameters, not just them. Um, and for creasing. So basically what Chris is gonna do is just crease the odd edges of your model. So selecting uh, the models here, Chris, and uh, basically after that what you can do is um, either uh, work with it in Maya uh, or uh, the most effective thing you can do is export it. Uh, through ZBrush, so we we have end guns, but uh, this common just gonna handle it fine. So export it. There you go. So then you can just subdivide it because you have this nice crease uh, on your hard edges here. So just subdivide them. 
so that's one thing you can do or you can just um, you can have the creasing along with uh, the UVs so uh, no matter what uh, the topology of, of the mesh uh, it just uh, with end guns or without end guns it's just gonna map uh, uh, the object uh, based on the hot edges and as you can see you, I have this uh, optimal support groups uh, checkbox uh, checked and I'm going to generate some UVs so you can see what we can do with it and then I, I'm going to export that in ZBrush basically what happens is that I export it with the crease and the UVs and with the UVs we're gonna be able to have some uh, cool uh, smoothing groups so as you can see uh, we have uh, those moving those smoothing groups along the hot hedges so this one's preserved yeah, smoothing groups here, here, here. and what you can do from there is go to zero measure of uh, first subdivide it a couple of times and do it higher first subdivide it a couple of times and then you can go to zero measure and just uh, have this checked keep groups and let's see what it does with the four power meters here and then you have this nice uh, nice thing so you have nice topology and you can subdivide it from there and it looks and it, it, it's just clean you have a uh, good topology here so that's just one of the great options you have uh, if you use CRISPRs is that workflow uh, which uh, which you end up with uh, a cool clean topology or sculpting and that's pretty much all from uh, the modeling tab uh, now we have curves but we're gonna cover that in uh, in another video so uh, hope you're cool and and yeah that's it